Hey everyone, this is Rami at the UMI Performance Race Shop in front of the 1965 Cutlass. I'm going to be talking about the UMI rear coilover conversion kit that allows us to remove the rear springs and shocks and replace it with true coilovers. The coilover conversion kit consists of an upper and lower bracket set. Here I have the upper bracket. So instead of the normal T-bar, we're using a dedicated bolt-in bracket that allows us to put a double shear mount shock in there. The shock options are endless with this kit. Pretty cool stuff. In the kit, we include our favorite Viking products. So it's a Viking double adjustable shock, compression and rebound adjustable, and then your choice of spring rates. Um, on the website, you'll be able to pick your spring rate that you want for your car, whether you're cruising, road race, autocross, drag racing, anything like that, we have the spring rate for that. One of the best features we think of the uh, coilover kit is this double shear bracket. So double shear means the rod, rod eye goes in here, bolt goes through. The existing frame has two holes for the factory shock. We ask you to drill a third hole for additional reinforcement. So you can see the three holes here. This goes here with the notch facing outward and rearward, 5 16 drill. And we're just gonna go up through and drill the, the 5 16 hole. And then the bracket fits in just like this. Now that we have our upper mount installed, we can talk about our rear shock tower brace. This is a popular add-on item that can be used with both regular springs and shocks or the rear coilover kit. It adds frame rigidity and an overall uh, stronger chassis situation. The lower bracket bolts directly on GM 10 or 12 bolt axle housings. There's an anti-rotation tab here that fits in the factory shock hole. Most cars have this second hole already. If not, you may need to drill a uh, half inch hole in that location. We can relocate the trailing arm for better forward traction into one of two positions. The shock features a uh, double shear slider racing style. So when the shock fits in here, we can put the uh, floating shock mount in. Works real nice. Now that we have the lower bracket installed, we can install the Viking coilover. The lower bolt has uh, two sleeves. We're gonna use the larger of the sleeves on the back side. Place that through, and then the small sleeve goes towards the axle. Put that in there. And then the bracket has a convenient access hole so that when you're working on the car underneath, you can put the, the nut up through and the wrench up through as well. Another benefit of the UMI rear coilover conversion kit is the ability to run nearly any exhaust system as we have the shock tucked nicely away uh, compared to the tailpipe. Now that our coilover conversion kit is installed, we can check tightness of everything, adjust the ride height to how we want it, set the damping how we want it, and enjoy our coilover conversion kit on the back of our 64 to 72 GMA body. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at umiperformance.com and we'll get you going.